So a lot of you guys have been wondering what we're going to do to finish these wheels off. A lot of people recommended powder coating and I agree with you, powder coating is super strong you can get really cool finishes out of it, but it doesn't really adhere to like what built does, right? Everything we do here is in a garage or a homemade shop or out in my driveway and uh, it's doing it at home, doing it on my own, by myself and learning ways to get professional results on a budget in my own shop. So we're going to do something that I do know how to do. Wrong cam. This is self etching primer. If your heart stops when I held up Plasti Dip, no worries. We're not using Plasti Dip on these. Uh, we are going to use this stuff. Um, it is a primer used for aluminum. Aluminum is a ferrous metal or ferrous or furous or if you know how to say that word, put it in the comments. But basically, it's a metal that paint will not stick to. So you have to use a special primer, um, either this or an epoxy primer to uh, etch the surface so that primer will stick to it and then so that paint will stick to it. So what that means is we're going to do a layer of this stuff, this self-etching green primer, and then a layer of sealer primer and then we'll do the paint over the top of it. All right, so I went over this thing with Scotch-Brite. Um, the primer calls for 180 to 220 prep, and I did 220, um, but I couldn't get in all these little cracks and everything with that paper, so I used this to go ahead and do the faces, and it came out really well. All the wheels are prepped. This is the last one. Uh, I'm going to use some Dawn to get the grease and aluminum dust off of the wheel so it's ready for primer. Um, after the Dawn, I'll follow that with a wax and grease remover and uh, then they'll be ready for the primer. I have a fan that runs in here all the time, so just ignore that sound, but I decided while I was priming these that I was going to get a seat, um, not for me to sit in, but to sit the wheel on so I could spin the wheel while I'm priming it. Uh, some primer, I, I was doing some research on etching primers and I found that you're never supposed to spray over an etching primer. I've done it before and it turned out okay. Um, but for longevity's purposes or longevity's sake, you're not supposed to do that. So I went and got a 2K primer, which I don't normally use. I'm going to start using 2K primer though, um, just because you're supposed to. So that's a primer with a hardener and a reducer. Um, some more filters for my spray gun. Um, so once these are all green, uh, I'll go over them with this Shopline 2K primer. This is the stuff I use for paint and everything else, so it should do fine with the paint that I'm using for this uh, project. All right, that's a wrap. It's 1.30 a.m. The wheels are primed. I'm going to bed. I got a really early morning tomorrow, so it's 
going to be a little bit of a marathon. My voice is muffled because I've still got my respirator on. It's still pretty chemically in here. It smells pretty rough, so I'm keeping this on for now. But I think they look really good. This is not their final color. You'll see that soon. But right now, that's kind of like a matte gunmetal. It's just a flat gray primer. And I really like it. I think the wheels look great in this color. Something that this does, doing the primer through the gun, is, uh, I'm just going to walk out here. So doing the primer through the gun is, uh, is beneficial because it gives me kind of an idea of the spray pattern for when I'm painting the wheels. So I already know exactly how I'm going to paint the wheels and the pattern I'm going to use to make sure I get the best coverage possible. So I'm really excited about that. Anyway, it's bedtime for me. Uh, like I said, i got to be up in like four hours, so I'm going to go see a guy about a car. You guys will find out about that later, but we will cut to when these things are dry and when I'm ready to paint them. Let's do that now. All right, so it's time to paint. I've let these things dry uh, for about two days. I've got a 72-hour window where I can paint on them without having to sand, but I'm going to probably sand the faces at least a little bit just to get some nibs out, some of the dust and dirt that fell into the paint. I'm going to put this on a time lapse so you guys can kind of watch these things transform uh, to their final color, which I actually need to show you now. This is what we came up with. I don't know how much of that you can see on camera. It may be a little bit lighter than the wheel is right now. And there's a lot of flake in there, so that should look really awesome in the sun. It's not a crazy color, but with the livery and all this stuff on the car, um, I think that an understated color is probably going to be better, and this is going to be that. Uh, but it'll still give me a, a lot of gloss and a lot of reflection and stuff, so I think it'll do these wheels justice. Ah! It'll also look really good uh, on a white car, so if the person that wins the car does decide to pull all the vinyl off, this gunmetal color will look really good against a white body. So. All right, let's spray it. What's up? Just hanging out. You want to see the color of the wheels? That's cool, right? You like that wheel? It's better. Huh? You like that? Came out good, didn't it? See how shiny it is? Alright, that's it. This is the first time I've taken them out in the sun, and they look insanely good. The, uh, the flake in there is really noticeable in the sun. It looks awesome. Uh, but overall, I think they look really great. The barrels look good. All four are painted. They're all clear coated and they're ready to go. The scariest part of this whole process is I have to get tires mounted on them and I'm pretty nervous about it. So we'll get tires mounted and then we'll throw them on the car.
All right, that is it for these wheels. I think they turned out awesome. I think the paint looks really good on these things. And we got to do it ourselves, which is really cool. This is the first time I've seen the car sitting on the ground since I did all the suspension work and since I got these new wheels on it. And I think it looks really, really cool. I thought I was going to get to move it, but I'm not going to get to because I need to do some clearancing stuff with the front fender so the wheels can turn. Right now, they can't really turn in and out just because of some stuff that's in the way. So I'm going to get that out of the way before I get the car moving again. So it's going to have to wait to be washed, but it will get washed and I will get to move it very soon. I hope you guys like this build. Hey, big shout out to Wheel Lab and to Ford Star for making these wheels happen. I could have never imagined having wheels like this on this build, but thanks to those companies, we were able to run these very cool custom wheels on the build. So make sure you support them because they support built. Go check them out for all your wheel and suspension needs. You guys are awesome. If you need to get caught up on this build, maybe you're new to this channel, I have a whole playlist where you can go and watch the videos of this build from normal, everyday dad wagon to this, what it is now. Uh, so you can get caught up and get back on track. Got a lot of really exciting videos of this car. I'm going to be fabricating a lot of parts and this thing should start looking finished very soon. So make sure you stay tuned each week so that you can keep up with this build and the rest of the stuff we've got going on. There is a lot. I'll see you soon.